Hey guys, it's Nadia. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by again. <laughs> or if you're new here, just welcome. I'm really happy you're here. This footage is a little bit older and for that I apologize. It's actually from the beginning of this year, uh, 2018. I did this piece in January and it was actually for an auction with the Changeling Artist Collective. I am not an artist with them, but I was invited to be a guest artist for their Operation Gaia project, which is a fundraiser they do every year to raise some money for the Audubon Society. And they take care of birds and other animals. So it's a really awesome society and I really love uh, anything that can take care of our animals because the earth is their home too. <laughs> so anyway, I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted me to talk about in today's video and it seemed like the topic of discussion that was the most popular was planning a composition. Now I'd like to do an actual tutorial on composition so that I can actually show you guys what I'm talking about exactly. But I thought today we would just chat about it a little bit and get a feel for it. And that's the reason why I actually pulled up this old footage, because I felt like this piece had a lot of composition going on that I could kind of point out here and there. Now, of course, in the stages, I'm just filling in the background, which took forever, by the way. <laughs> just so many small crevices to put that black paint into, so it took a while. But the piece is named Sacrificial Nest. I wanted to represent how in nature, you know, during a bird's life, they take objects from nature and they build a beautiful nest out of it. And when the animal passes away, nature kind of builds a nest for it wherever it has died. So I thought that would be really interesting to portray somehow. The biggest thing was for me to create movement in this piece. I wanted to lead the eye back to the bird no matter where the viewer was looking. That's why there's kind of that smoky stuff, which I know is kind of hard to tell right now, but you'll see when I start filling it in that that is, it's not supposed to be smoke, but that's the best way that I can describe it. Um, it's kind of like the, the soul leaving type of thing going on. I used that shape to draw the viewer back to the center of the hands where the bird is nested. Just bring the eye back no matter what. And that leads me to kind of talking about leading the eye to your subject. No matter what you're working on, it's always good to lead the viewer's eye back to your subject. Even if you want the viewer to focus on some other things, you want to pick one subject that you want the viewer to come back to. Uh, whether that be the person in your painting, the animal, the flower, whatever it happens to be. Just pick a subject that you want to lead back to. And to lead back to it, you can use things like leading lines. And again, I'll make a tutorial of this showing you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but you can use leading lines so that can be, you know, if you draw plants in your, your drawings a lot, then you can use tree branches or uh, some pussy willow branches or something just to point the viewer's eye to that subject, if that makes sense. And you can also use it to make it so the viewer's eyes do not travel off of the paper. Because that's another thing with composition, is you always want to make sure to keep the viewer on your paper and not to lead the eye away from the artwork. <laughs> so it's always good, you know, like if, if you have a composition where it's a pretty plain background, you can use graphical elements like a tree branch or something to kind of cut the, the edge of the paper so that the viewer's eye will stop and come back to the center of it, like I mentioned before. Another thing is, the way you can use that is to frame your subject and you can use plants or, you know, I keep coming back to plants because that's what I, I normally do, but everybody is different and what you do with your work I mean, that's something you have to figure out. What can you use? What objects can you use to, to frame your subject, to lead the eye to your subject, and to just make it aesthetically pleasing? I hope that made a little bit of sense. It's kind of hard to explain without showing you exactly, but again, I will make a tutorial sometime soon about composition, and I'll actually be speaking and showing you guys at the same time instead of just doing a voiceover over a speed paint. 
I feel like that would be a lot better, but I hope this was somewhat helpful and answered a little bit of the questions that you might have for planning a composition. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry I spun the wood around so often. It was just very difficult to work on a surface like that. And the only way for me to really draw on it properly was to turn it every which way that I could. If you like this piece, there are some prints available in my shop and the original is actually still available. It is ready for hanging. The back is wired and everything. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me through email or messaging or however you'd like to do it. I'm always here for you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye!